Sodi666666 with a review for you guys. This is one movie. I suck at doing one movie reviews because my reviews suck and they're not very in depth, but I'm gonna try my best to kind of explain this movie to you. I really, really enjoyed it. Uh, it deserves its own little video here. Uh, I also like to do a video for The Taint one day. That's that's another one that, that's another indie flick that needs a. But anyway, I'm getting off subject. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm, my attention span sucks. ADHD or something. But yeah, anyway, uh, the film I'm be talking about is Long Pigs. Now, I know a lot of you guys maybe have seen this before, have heard about it. You know, the greats like Ms. Pole and Mr. Parker have all talked about it. So, you know, uh, I'm going to go ahead and try to put my spin on it here. It's probably not going to be that good. But yeah, anyway, they got their own uh, YouTube page on here. It's Long, P Ugh, Long Pigs the Film. Uh, they got their own YouTube page. They barely have any subscribers, so go check them out. I mean, because this movie it was great. It's, I would seriously say it's one of my favorite mockumentaries. Now, basically what this is, it's a fake documentary, or mockumentary, whatever you want to call it, uh, about this cannibal. He's a serial killer cannibal, and it's just basically this film crew goes around following him, a day in a life, you know, or a week in a life of, you know, a cannibal. Well, it's pretty much a... It's almost, it's a day or, or two, but yeah, anyway, uh, it's just, you know, the things he does, it starts out, you know, they go, they're driving down the road, you know, it's film documentary style, they're talking to Anthony, that's his name, that's also the actor's name, and, uh, they're just driving down the road talking to him, acting him, tell, you know, be natural and shit like that, and then they go out, he goes and picks up this prostitute that has a little bit of meat on the bones, because, uh, he's hungry, and, uh, so he goes over there, he gets a prostitute, you know, he's all like, hey, how you doing? She's like, hey, cutie, can I call you cutie? Mr. Cutie. <laughs> but anyway, he takes her home, and he's, you know, he's he's like, we have to go downstairs, you know, my mom's my mom's upstairs, I don't want to, you know, bother her. So they t he takes her to the basement, and uh, I'm not going to give anything away, but that's when the fun starts, and I mean, it starts within, like, the first, you know, six minutes of the film so i mean it's it it goes ahead and sets the tone right there uh the effects were there there's not too much gore in this movie but the gore that they did have it was amazing i mean it looked so real to me it was great i had to watch the special features see how they did it and everything it was really cool uh the poor girl that played <laughs> the prostitute the thing she had to do was uh you know was that was that was cool of her to do that uh, she was a good sport it seemed like uh, but yeah so anyway it goes on a journey with him uh, the end of this movie was awesome you know you, you take crap like paranormal activity and all that shit and you can throw it out the window because this movie this is a fun mockumentary this does things you know it's exciting it's fun you want to know more about the dude it's not just a bunch of people talking and sitting around nothing happens this is a fun flick you actually feel kind of sorry for him and I did I don't know maybe I'm crazy but you know uh, you can tell he's just a you know depressed guy he's he's not 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 right you know but it's got I, I I don't. I just don't want to give too much away, but I do want to say everybody go check out this flick. Support independent horror. This this flick is awesome. You can get it fairly decent price on Amazon, or you can go to LongPigsTheMovie.com. They have a website. I'm pretty sure, but I bought mine off Amazon, so I can't tell you 100. But I'm almost positive they do. Go over to the YouTube page. Talk to those guys. They'll they'll message you back. They're really nice. Uh, they even did a video for Ms. Pole, you know, because Ms. Pole did this awesome review on the movie. And, uh, you know, they thanked him and everything. They're really, really nice guys. Uh, ah, what's his name? Uh, damn, he wears glasses and he's got spiky hair, but he's British. He made it. Ah, I can't think of his name, but he also did a review and he did some artwork for him. They drew a picture. It's His name is Oscar, I believe, and they drew a picture of him and... You know, it was pretty cool. They sent it back. They sent him a shirt and all this other stuff. So, I mean, they're really nice guys. So go support this kind of stuff. Seriously, go support it. It's really fun, really good. Highly recommended, in my opinion. Uh, you know, Chris Power, Nathan Hines did a great job. Anthony, I love... <laughs> mm. <laughs> I knew how to say it before I started the video. Then I get all mind farty. Uh, Alvanio. Alviano. 
Anthony Alviano, but uh, yeah, he he's a, a star of this movie. He also goes by Anthony McAllister is his character name. Man, he did such a great job, seriously. All the way around, go check out this film. Shut up. Bye!